Hello and welcome and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new iWork 09 suite of applications. Um, as you can see pages, keynote and numbers, all the brand new 09 versions which were just released earlier this week at the Macworld Conference and Expo. Um, and they are brand new versions. Um, and they've got a few new features which are quite good and I'm just going to be going over them today so um, start off with pages which is Apple's word processing software sort of life sort of similar to the equivalent to Microsoft Word but personally I think it's much better as you can see as we start it as usual they've changed the template user to a back, back, black background instead of the normal white background um, and there's many more more modern and better looking templates as you can see here uh, they've really refreshed the templates that you can have so I'm going to just choose a nice new template so for example um, I quite like this one and of course you can open all the old files I haven't changed the file formats um, and I got onto my first new feature here my first big new feature which is a full screen view um, as you can see here full screen which basically as you guest probably allows you to view the document in full screen with no interruptions which is very very useful I find because you don't want to be distracted by your desktop background or by um, any instant messages or something so you just click to activate of course and then it goes into full screen as you can see and then if you need the toolbars at the top you just need to go up and they'll automatically drop down which is a very very useful feature so you don't get distracted and you can just go to exit to get out of full screen um, which is really nice and on another thing there's some new effects for example in the charts um, I know there's a lot of new effects in the charts thing basically as you can see here um, it's now a more 3D chart and you can move it around and things um, and what else you can do is you can go into the chart colours and um, you can use brand new effects that they just put in, 3D effects, like wood effect and things. Um, I think they used these at the Apple, you just drag them from the effects palette to there. I think they used these at the Apple Notebooks event in October um, 2008, and I think they've used these a few times in the keynote as well. So that's a really nice uh, sort of effect which makes your document look a, more pro a lot more professional and more polished really. And um, I really like the new pages they've really redone the templates and there is also the um, the ability to go with other applications which I've heard about other people talk about in their reviews personally I don't really use these applications but I think they're like if you draw uh, sort of scientific formulas up and that sort of thing um, I don't obviously do that or anything like that but apparently they're really useful and there's also an outline view here as well, which you can probably see here. Outline, which basically just um, gets rid of the advanced formattings and just shows the document as a text outline effectively. Um, so you don't get any pictures or backgrounds. It's handy if you just want to edit the text and don't want to get distracted by the other things in the thing. Um, but so obviously here I could just start typing. and then just click that again and it would go back to the one with the formatting in place already but I'll, I really like that feature because I think that can come in handy um, and help you from to stop getting distracted you know by it um, so that's a really useful feature they've also added iwork.com where you can go on and basically um, it's sort of like a cloud computing thing as you can see here you can send it to whoever you want in different formats of pages, PDF and Word. So a lot of people can open it, everyone can open it, whether they use Windows, Mac or any operating system really, or iPhone or anything like that. And that is a really nice feature to people like that because it's very easy. It's a bit like Google Docs really if you've ever used that. And it's currently in free public beta. I'd imagine they'd start charging for it when they release it. But that comes with um, iWork. 09 is available in all of the applications and a lot of people like that especially if they're working on a team and want to collaborate in it 
or if you're working on a, a project with different people and want to collaborate with them in it, then it's a very useful feature. Um, so I'm going to now move on to um, Apple's very good presentation software, Keynote 09. Now, um, Keynote is basically their version of PowerPoint, but personally I think it's so much better than PowerPoint, it's so much more uh, advanced. So as you can see here, um, they've added much more templates. Not only is there the standard templates like Gradient, like they use in the Apple presentations, which is a very popular one, there's also just the standard ones from before, like the white and black. But they've added new ones like Editorial, as you can see here, and Kyoto, um, and a few other ones, which is quite nice, really, because it's always good to have new templates, you know, always good to have the latest templates. So, so if I just want to pick this one like these in the Apple Keynotes, and then you can select the size, and I want to select the biggest size possible, of course. And basically, um, there's not that much to say about this, really. They have added the new 3D chart thing, which looks really nice in this program. Especially if you're doing a presentation, it looks so much better. Um, I'm just going to add a 3D chart. But it looks just unbelievably good if you're doing a presentation and you have that. Um, so I'm just going to delete the text and basically yes that would look really good in a presentation really professional you can obviously just change the colour with the nice new 3D effects and that's a really nice thing to have the ability to do um, it makes creating that sort of thing when you're doing presentations and things just so easy just really nice and quick and easy um, instead of like on Windows having to go into Excel and doing it all and then bringing it over it's just so much better in Keynote and iWork and obviously you've still got the iWork.com thing the uh, the cloud sharing system that I was telling you about before um, I'm not really going to do that again because it's just the same in every program but it basically will let you share it as a PowerPoint, a PDF or a Keynote presentation um, and there is also a new app in the Apple App Store um, which basically lets you I'll just jump into it right now if I can um, just, you know, I can just find it um, keynote it's called Keynote Remote and that is pretty much what it is it lets you control your Keynote presentation on the uh, on your iPhone or iPod Touch now the only one grudge that I've got against this is the fact that it costs um, 59p which I know is a lot, not a lot of money but when you've already paid for iWork 09 I don't see why you should have to pay extra for the application um, so obviously as you can see here you can control the thing for, control your presentation from your iPod Touch or iPhone and it gives you a preview of the next slide, preview of the current slide and it's basically quite a nice little app to have um, especially if you do a lot of presentations as you can see here there. when you rotate it um, portrait it set, it tells you the uh, sort of text on the slide and it gives you a preview of the slide and when you rotate it landscape it tells you the current slide and the next slide um, and that is a really nice feature to have um, so yes that is a great feature that they've put in Keynote 09.